come on in today we have a very special project for you a one in a year kind of video i'm gonna review what held me back last season so you know if you watched my stream um and have not been a naughty boy you guys definitely know that i'm hard stuck right so i'm going to you know review a little bit of the mistakes that i noticed and what i noticed that pro players do to circumvent that or to deal with it both of them right so if you find yourself tilting if you find yourself feeling like league of legends is a 1v9 game if you find yourself just being hard stuck in whatever elo it is i might have some tips for you All right, let's dive right in as we start with one of the most underrated, but in my opinion, the most important topic. Okay, this might vary for you, but I don't think it will. The first step is a schedule and the first step of the schedule, we don't need, you know, to connect to the astral body of the universe, right? N n none of that. First step, be, be aware of your mental state and only aware. No, don't do anything to change it i mean obviously right you can do stuff you can have some caffeine if you feel tired that type of deal right you can do it but don't try to suppress anything just you know be aware of your mental state and be like okay i feel a little bit distracted um or i feel like i want to i just want to forget the day right be, be aware of all of this um and just be aware nothing else right the, the rest will come to you, right? You'll realize, okay, there are days where I'm tired, I play worse, and that type of deal. Just be aware of it, all right? You can dedicate as much time as you want. The more time, the better, in my opinion. And uh, you'll figure out how good this is once you start doing it on the regular. All right, so next thing, have a warm-up that is short enough. Um, so dependent on your schedule, right? Let's say you have one hour to play, just take five minutes. You have two, two hours, take 10 minutes, maybe take 20. If you have plus four hours, you cannot tell me that you don't have 30 minutes for warm up. Practice combos, practice CSing, do the lock spot drill, which I will release a video on that a little bit later on. Um, so d just do anything to warm you up, drill you, you know, stretch your wrists, you know, do this, especially if you do more than five hours, right? You do some, some of this, you do some of these, you know, you, you can, you can do some of this, right? Just, just warm your, your body up, right? It'll, it'll just give you a little bit more consistency. It's not, nothing big, no big deal, right? And really do it though. Review games and have your notes so either you did that when you were playing the games i would advise you to review your games on the next day but whatever suits you i guess um for me it just makes makes me look at it better when i review it after having slept over it slash just a couple of hours later right so review these games or take the notes and then figure out what your learning objective for the day is now this sounds really fucking boring sure but if you want to try hard, that is what everyone does, okay? Welcome to reality. I'm telling this my former self, by the way. Not, not necessarily you. Okay. So, your objectives could range from, you know, just being able to survive the lane or just learn how to, you know, survive the lane. Watch some pro, pro views, right? Sometimes l looking through a VOD for an hour is better than playing, especially once you're tilted, right? So play and then remember not... Remember not to get sucked into these feelings, right? And if you, if you do, it's fine. Just write it down, right? So whenever you're tilted, right? Take a second. I'm... This is... I'm honest about this. Take a second, pull out notepad, whatever the fuck you have, right? To pull out a little note, just write something on there and just write, your, I'm tilted. Just write that you're tilted or that, that you're annoyed at something, right? But don't write the reason why, just write why, okay? And that'll be more than good enough. You don't necessarily need to do anything with this. Um, I'm trying to give you as much room as possible, right? If you just, just write it and throw the paper away, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just that you take the distance and that you note to yourself, I'm 
currently emotional. That's all. And what emo emotion you're feeling, right? And then everything will come to the time. And then we're going to talk a little bit about meta stuff, right? With meta, I don't mean the league meta. I mean the overarching thing meta, right? So stuff that is losing streaks, failed promos, all of that shit, right? How do you deal with that? Because that is a big one, at least for me, right? That was literally the reason I didn't climb last season. Um, so first, just a couple of ideas, right? So I heard of this rule that you say never after two losses a game without a break. Sounds like a great idea. Um, I'm, I'm most of the time I'm doing this just whenever I'm streaming. I obviously can't right? that is quite obvious. Um, and as you approach higher elos, I would say the the threshold of games gets better, right? The, the, the more you write down your emotions while you tilt and stuff in the game, the, the higher the threshold of games you can bear to lose will get. For me, it's like two or three games, dependent on, uh, you know, whether I slept enough, whether I feel good about myself, all of that, right? H how I performed, how my team performed. And then uh, after one game where you were into full tilt mode, right? So if, if you were like, my jungler does not, whatever it is, right? Never the same team. Any of these thoughts of like, never, always, this kind of deal, right? Get the fuck out. Take half an hour, take an hour. If you don't have that much time, wo watch a VOD, a pro player VOD instead, right? This is important. And here's here's the thing, right? Um, I, I just want to break this down, okay? There is nothing that people don't do to get better. This is this is like a weird information. This sound might this might sound weird to you, but I'm sure some people they really need this because I definitely needed this. I was I was definitely the type of guy who, who would be like, yeah, but you know, these people probably just, you know, don't try hard as well. I should be able to reach it like this, reach it like this. It's totally fine that you're bad. It just means someone else took other steps than you and they took more steps, all right? So, you know, if you feel bad, always tell yourself that. All right, so in summary, right, it's a pretty quick one, but for myself, um, whenever I look at my games, I realize this one big thing. What I did is I blamed my champions, right? So don't switch champion pool whenever you deal with the fact that you either feel like you don't have enough impact, you're like, I'm always winning lane, but I can't transition. That is not the fault of your champion, okay? Don't switch the champion switch your gameplay, right? You, it means that there is something wrong with the way you view the champion and use it as a tool. Because maybe the way you want to win games doesn't work with the champion. Maybe your champion doesn't have a wombo combo, your champion can't 1v5, but maybe your champion can pick off one person after another. Yes, you Kha'Zix. You Kha'Zix from last game, okay? Your champion doesn't 1v5. All right. So, don't switch the champion to pool if you're doing poorly in general. Just keep with it, right? And then a quick note to champion pool, this is, you know, you don't have to adhere to this, but optimal would be three champions, maybe four if you want to play a lot, maybe five. Um, but then, you know, a lot of them have to have a similar archetype, so the similar way they work and interact and, uh, you know, just, it's a rough decision, I know. Um, but best would be one AD, one all-in, one control, right? So your AD carry might be there. Huh. I only have to play one champion because we don't have an all-in. No, there is Vayne, there is Aphelios. No, don't play Aphelios. There is Samira, right? They're all in type of champions. And then there are champions like Caitlyn that, you know, do a lot of control damage. Um, so we would assume that and then obviously, right, if your standard is AD, you play an AP. So maybe, you know, dig out that Swain. Look for something like that, right? And uh, obviously for supports, you can do the same thing, right? You go Leona, you go Janna, or Soraka, or whatever you want. And then maybe, you know, you go for like a full AP choice, or for a full AD one, right? It just, 
this the idea is just that your champion pool encompasses not only picking a champion but looking at the matchups and being like okay we are full ad i could play my ap here right or we are full ap i could play my ad here and just to keep you thinking in the champion select right so there are a lot of there are a million tips out there that can help you my tips are more of what i experienced and what helped me back right and uh, the way i arrived at this is i try to figure out what the problem is and then what the causation of the problem is so the causation was me tilting the causation was me not realizing when i'm tilted you know that type of deal so you know we can have a chat about this you can head on over to my discord you can head on over to my Twitch. We can have a chat about this. You can tell me what you think. And maybe we'll do a podcast episode together. Right? So I would appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Good luck there. In Season 11, League of Legends.